A proposed tax increase on some alcohol products has industry leaders speaking out. Blake Allen has more. Blake. In the industry today who said these new taxes could mean higher prices on alcohol products like your favorite craft beer. I also spoke to those with organ recovers who say we need more addiction treatment services. The Oregon Health Authority has proposed increased taxes on beer, wine and ciders, as well as cigarettes in its new budget. According to the Oregon Beer and Wine Distributors Association, this would mean a tax increase on the industries of 800 percent. The money raised would go to help fight addiction. The agency stated alcohol imposes large and avoidable costs on the health of all people in Oregon and health care systems. Lauding the move is Mike Marshall with Oregon Recovers. Uh, as of last year, it was 9.3 percent of the population. So that's almost 400,000 Oregonians um, who uh, have untreated addiction. Um, and we rank 47th in access to treatment for people who need treatment. Marshall says he wishes the taxes also included hard alcohol. It's the bottom shelf alcohol. It's the bottom shelf beer and wine. Those are the things the kids are buying. Those are the things that binge drinkers are buying. He maintains, however, that this move is a great first step. The breweries are not going to feel this, right? If you are go walk into your favorite brew pub and you order a beer for, I don't know, what, $7? Is that the, the cost? And it goes up to $8 under this proposal. There aren't many people that are going to stop going out and buying those beers. I headed to Deschutes Brewery to speak with CEO Michael Lalonde, who opposes the increase. For an 800% increase in our excise tax for the state of Oregon is a burden that really um, beer manufacturers, craft brewers, restaurants, bars, retailers, all of those businesses can't really take on right now. We've gone through so much with COVID. Lalonde says he feels they are already heavily taxed. Deschutes Brewery pays about over 60% in taxes from gross revenue. He also thinks it could have an impact on his customer base. See, I mean, some people think that when there's an increase in taxes that all the businesses will just absorb it, which is something we just can't do. Now, Max, the OHA budget will need to be approved by the governor before it's put in place. There have not been new taxes on beer and wine for nearly 40 years. Now back to you. Thanks, Blake. Tonight we're asking if you think the tax on beer and wine should increase to pay for addiction programs. To weigh in, head over to our web poll. That's on the KTVZ.com homepage.